What a pleasure, what an honor for us to uh, welcome to the program the uh, star of stage and screen, and frankly, screen. Um, and uh, frankly, canceled programs. And can cancel programs, of course, that comes with the territory. Of course, I'm speaking of the great uh, Richard Kind. Uh, Richard, thank you so much for joining us. I can't hear any applause. You can't, oh. I hear no applause. Are you serious? You can't hear any applause? Hold on. Will you turn up the uh, <laughs> sound in the... Um, uh, there? Yeah, we're just turning up the... That's what happened to... Um, uh, to that guy who was on... Thank uh, you. Uh, what was his name now? He was on uh, Chico and the Man. He couldn't hear any of the applause either. Or the, was it the laughter? <laughs> uh, Jack uh, Albertson. Freddie See? Prince. Oh, Freddie. Oh, of course. He, I can't hear the laughter, of course. Right, right, of course. Oh, a good, good, nice reference. Very good reference. Oh, well, thank now, you. I have I to tell it. you, yes. I have to tell you, I am on a golf course right now. You are Richard Kind hitting the hitting the links. Fantastic! How are you doing? I'm actually hitting the ball well. My short game, not so much. Huh. But I'm going to hit a ball right now. Do you want to entertain everybody while I just hit a ball really, really quickly? Is sure. that okay? Yes, of course. Are okay. you uh, are you driving? You, what do you where, where what, tell us what the club selection is? It is a par three, about 180 yards uphill. I'm going to hit a four iron. I'm sure the people who, who love politics are dying to hear about it. No, this. well, you're going to give us a movie recommendation. I'm going to do the play-by-play. So, uh, Richard, okay, stepping okay. up to you the know wall, what? has got a four iron. Speaker, can you hear me? Yes. Here we go. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah, you. The phone, is right by, the phone is right by the ball. <laughs> Literally. Can you hear this? Did you hear that? Yes! That's a nice stroke. That is my play. Hold on. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! I just hit audience. <laughs> Did you hit the ball? <laughs> did you hit the ball? Not only did I hit the ball, I hit it beautifully. Well, there you go. That's ladies. me. I, I need an audience. This is. This I is need an impressive. audience now. Uh, and this is what I. This is what I need. All right, let's talk. Let's talk. I can talk now. Are you in like? I uh, be, I, where are you playing in like Cabo or uh, somewhere fancy like? Uh, um, uh, like New Jersey. How many like New Jersey, Jersey like, like outside Tennessee. <laughs> there you go. Hey, make sure you stop by the. Uh, New there's a great TGIF in Paramus. You should check out. I am so near Paramus. <laughs> I, 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 T, I, I, I TGIF in Paramus. Oh, there's a wonderful TGIF in Paramus. Try the mozzarella sticks. Okay, with the marinara. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of okay, course. Of course. What are mozzarella sticks without marinara? So now this is uh, this I'm, is the the life of uh, of an actor who's uh, recently been on a series that got canceled. Um, no, 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 no. This is the life of an unemployed actor. I'm playing golf with two businessmen and a dentist. <laughs> They're yeah. all working. Isn't this sort of your audience? Isn't this your target audience? Uh, dentists, businessmen, two, two, two businessmen, and, 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 a, uh, and a dentist. Yes, taking taking Friday off. Of course, that's fantastic. Of course. What, you're living the life. What? Um, so, I am. how was luck? I mean, it was fun, though, right? Oh, Sam, it was the best. It was the best. But I got to tell you, and and honestly, to those, this is this is the first interesting thing I'm going to say on your program so far. Okay. Um, to those who are listening, Peter has its heart in the right place, but its brains are up its ass. <laughs> I believe in everything that Peter does, oh. except they are not smart. Okay, well, now, what wait they a second. did. Go ahead, tell us what what they did to these fifty horses is so tragic. These fifty horses were like Dickens orphans who get saved and get to go to the judge's house and wake up in the fluffy quilts with the pillows. That's what they had, and and to protect those horses. They took them away and got. I mean, HBO bought them, so they're going to find good homes. But they were. They had the best food. They had groomers taking care of them. They had vets before they shot each time. They had a checkup. These horses are just going to be, you know, horses in a yard, and they, you know, maybe. Uh, it's it's just not as good a life. And Peter thought, oh, we've got to protect them. We've got to protect them. They did. The, you know what it's like. 
It's like the kid who gets born to the alcoholic and the drug users, who gets adopted by the great family, who's given love and everything, and then all of a sudden the alcoholic mom, who has not sobered up, comes back and gets the kid again. Wow, that's, I've got to catch up on close. my. Uh, I've got to catch up on this. I didn't realize how involved this whole story was. So, what do you say? Oh, the whole thing is 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 Peta. The thing is, Peta doesn't like horse racing. So, in that sense, they won. Okay, they 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 gave horse racing a bad name. So, I guess in that one, but they took about four hundred jobs away from people. They uh, about fifty to one hundred horses are not going to be treated nearly as well. Uh, I mean, not not nearly. I mean, it, it's it's like ridiculous. It's like going from, uh, you know, from Manhattan over to Iowa. The, you, you know, the, the, the difference of what their life is going to be. Well, I'm Iowa's not, not such going, a bad place, Richard. That's a fairly no, I'm, no, no, no. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the quality of life. I'm called talking about the difference of life, of, of going from skyscrapers to the plains, of of how high their life was, and now it's low. Now it's low. Well, now wait. Now you wait, understand. Wait, I'm not. Uh, now, so wait a second. Yeah, go Let ahead. me get this straight. Now, three horses uh, died, right, during the shooting. Yeah. Is that right? Uh-huh. How did they die? Yeah, over over uh, a two year period. Uh, well, I can tell you how the last one died. Uh, it was before each race, or, or uh, not before each race, before they're being filmed. They're taken from the stable over to the veterinarian. They get a checkup, and then they go back to the stable until they take them out to the track. Well, on this one, one of the horses probably saw a bird or a squirrel or stepped in a hole and reared up and tripped and fell back, and a bone went to his head, and they had to euthanize him because, you know, but it's, it's like saying... So, so I the went horses to the didn't die for, I, because... I went, to the, I went to the doctor for a cold, and on the way back from the doctor, I died in a car accident. Did the oh. guy die of a cold, or did he die from a car accident? So I see. So so okay. So this isn't a situation where like they're using the horses uh, uh, in stunts where they've got to jump from a helicopter oh, God, to no. a, and, and no, this and, is and, and, the horses and, just and, died because they died. The, that could have happened to the horse anywhere, is what you're saying. Anywhere, and horses are. I mean, I got to tell you, they're beautiful, they're strong, they're lovely and kind, but they're not smart, and horses die. They, they they just do more often well, we than we all that. die. I mean, but this would have been the first. Right, yeah, no, 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 no. But but but, but they, they, they often die from accidents or from uh, tripping. They're fragile. They're, they're they're more fragile creatures than uh, than anything else. So when a horse dies, it's it treated tragic. Remember, these these are beloved animals, but they're trained and they're strong. They're beautiful and they live. They live to race. Some of them. It's really sort of lovely. They, they they know when they lose a race. They know when they win a race. They truly know love, and it, it, they're they're very they're, it's very funny how uh, what 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 they're like. It yeah, really no, all is. I had heard was that their three horses had died, and I you know I guess I had assumed that they had died because uh, you know in the course because, of because shooting. they were being overused. Right. I think I think the first one that may have happened. I think that, that 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 it may have been a day where it was too hot, or I don't. I truly don't know what it was. They're not being overused because the American Humane Society is there to monitor everything, as well as people who know and love horses. I mean, there was a wonderful guy. I'm, I won't mention his name because I'm sure that he's living in such sadness at people pointing fingers to to him. Oh, you're the guy. But these people, the horses are their lives. You know they're going to do everything they can to protect the horse. Everything, and it's it's almost well, it's sad. I feel bad for this for this uh, guy who who was handling the race horses. He handled them at Santa Anita. You know he knows them. All these people know horses backwards and forwards. Right. Peter, by the way, does not. Peter does not know horses backwards and forwards. All they know is, oh, oh, the horses are racing. Uh, they, they, they should be let out to, uh, to, to romp and have a good time. Well, who's going to pay you? It, it costs about thirty to forty thousand dollars to keep a horse each year. About thirty to thousand, thirty to forty thousand. Well, who's got the money to do that? Wow! Honestly, I, who has the money? Richard, I had absolutely no idea. Boy, that dentist, sure. uh, those dentists and those businessmen must, must be just like, what is going on? What is going? on? You see, he's so passionate about this horse thing. I had no idea. I really had no idea. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, it's, and now yeah, you're gonna, it's, 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 start, uh, it sounds like you're about to go out there and start to protest. No, 
<laughs> what I will protest is the power of, um, uh, what do you call it, of, uh, of, the, of the Internet right now in disseminating wrong facts and figures. And there, 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 there's no beating it. I, I tell you what, I'm going to make a putt right now, okay? Can sure. you hold on? Of course, yes, of course. I'll put you on Please. the speaker. Yes, of course. Okay. Back speaker. Hold on. <laughs> and Richard now lines up the putt. This one, I think, breaks a little bit to the left. Give me a rhythm. And uh, it breaks a little bit to the left. And... Oh! Oh! He's going to have to two-putt that, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to hurt him. I, I am going to have to two-putt that. You, you heard exactly right. I'll be finished in one second, guys. Hold on. Wait. Is this great radio or what, ladies and gentlemen? It's like, a, it's like you get the Masters and... Didn't um, uh, Tiger Woods just won his first tournament in like three or four years? I yes, wonder if that's yes, what did. Uh, did that bring you back onto yes, the links? Or you go ahead, take make a shot, uh, Richard. I know it's. Hey, I know I've, I've done it. I've done it. I two putted. Bad I'm, form I'm for me in, to be talking. I am in green. pocket. I am in pocket. Yes, I'm playing music while I'm putting. I'm so sorry. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you out of your mind, Sam? Uh, <laughs> So, um, did that bring you so, back into so, uh, the, green, so, the, the, the Tiger Woods thing, or what? You know, I, I actually was with somebody the other day who, at the golf course, said, I will pay, ten, I, you know, I'll bet you $10,000 that Tiger Woods does not win another major. This was like two weeks ago. And now, he'd be $10,000 short. Was that Mitt Romney? Who, 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 who made that bet? <laughs> no, no, nobody would know, but a oh, guy, okay. a right. person with, with a name, and, and $10,000 to waste. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, he, he claimed that Tiger Woods was never going to. Will he be the Tiger Woods we used to know? I hope to God, but he's a good golfer. All right, now, he Richard, I'm looking at golfer. your IMDb yes. page. I want to ask you a question. Now, I, I want you to say, I'm going to ask you, what has been, because you've been on so many sort of like, I mean, sort of uh, iconic shows. Uh, yes. You know, uh, Mad About You. Uh, uh-huh. you know, uh, Spin City. I mean, of course, you were in the A Serious Man, which was um, an incredible Curb your enthusiasm. Curb your enthusiasm. enthusiasm will probably go down. But I'm talking like yep. as a regular, as a staple, too, right? I mean, and yes. uh, what was of the... I should be much wealthier than I am. Well, you know, I know you, you, you go out, you play golf on Fridays. You know, you could be using this sure. time right now to, to be... I don't know, uh, selling, um, you know, uh, you could be doing all sorts you're of right. different things. I mean, right pa- paving roads, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Doing anything. What, was, what was the funnest thing that you've ever uh, been in? I don't want you to say those two episodes yeah, of Spin I, I City that I was on. I've uh, I got to tell you, I, I think that when I do plays, that's where I have the most fun. Really? That's usually the most enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to be doing a play on Broadway. Starting rehearsals in August, uh, previews in in uh, uh, October. What is the play? I am, it's called The Prince of Broadway, and it is a retrospective of how Prince's shows from the pajama game up to the present. Wow. It's awesome. unbelievable. I mean, it's, that's Phantom of the Opera and West Side Story and Sweeney Todd and the pajama game and Damn Yankees. and uh, I mean, it goes at uh, Follies and on the way to the forum. It just goes on and on and on. On and on and on. Cabaret. Everything. He's, he was, he's won 27 Tony Awards, Hal Prince has. Yeah. So you, you can imagine what, uh, what this is going to be. It's really great. That sounds like fun. Yep. I've actually seen you. We were at uh, the um, uh, RFK. There was an RFK. Uh, and I yes. didn't mention that there was a RFK uh, event, uh, Ripples of Hope. And you did a... a uh, tremendous monologue, and there was a, there was there was several actors who came up and did uh, monologues of people who. Um, uh, w- what was that monologue of? I don't remember. Yes, but it was a, well. I, I here's what I do remember: they were all prisoners yes. of their uh, political prisoners and in some country, and it was it was a guy who was a political prisoner, and I read his words, and it was pretty it was amazing not, it, because they, they, they were not mine. You know, uh, I got to say that um, there were other great actors there. They did a great job. But uh, Nikki and I both looked at each other afterwards and goes, that was, Richard was amazing. And I, you know, I had no doubt. uh, But I mean, uh, you know, I hadn't seen you uh, sort of perform in that 
type of, uh, you know, that type of work. You know, I, I'd seen you perform live, uh, but it was uh, you and I going back and forth on Spin City. The, 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 the material was just not as meaty. That is true. But did you watch any of Luck? Yes. Of course, we watched every episode. You were great in that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you saw me do Luck, I guess you would figure that I could do that. Uh, well, that we speech, saw Luck that, that, after it, that. Oh, okay. All right. So, yes, that, that, that speech is, well, it's gorgeous. I mean, and heartfelt, because probably I put into it what I felt for the guy. I mean, yeah. there's you know, the horrors of being a political prisoner. Now I'm talking your audience's language. But uh, it, it really was. It was quite, quite beautiful. But that was a whole beautiful evening. It that was. was a great, great evening. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was very, very honored to, to be asked to be there much to, uh, to to speak. I mean, like you said, there are great people up there. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was it pretty was impressive. Great. All right, well, now let's, because uh, I don't want to uh, interfere with your golf game. What do you hit? Okay, uh, you I, am, I, am, I am going to hit my drive. Okay, yeah, let's right hear it. Now. Let's so, hear yeah, the drive. So, so um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm now walking to my club okay. to pick it up. And uh, what are you going to hit? A three wood, a one wood, a driver? What is it going to I be? A one wood is also considered a driver. Right. I'm, I'm telling liberals about them. Just checking with us. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to put the phone down and now hit, hit my shot. Hold okay. on. Okay, <laughs> and uh, Richard, we're looking at about 250 yards to the green, par four. Richard's using the one wood. He's had a little trouble with this lately. Driving a little bit to his left. He's made some small adjustments with his stance. And there he is. You hit a very good ball. Since I have been on the show with you, I have hit very good. Well, I've there you go. Ball. You know, that's what it's all about. It's about relaxing. Sometimes they say you, you play golf better when you're not really there. That's that's exactly right. But I also hit a, a, my, my driver. Do you want to hit, hear the story of my driver? I'll tell you real quick. Oh, yeah, please. One, one time for charity. It's like ridiculous, but you, you know these things. For charity, I, I was uh, auctioned off for lunch on like eBay or something, and somebody could pay to have lunch with me. It's ridiculous, but nevertheless, it happened. I would do it. So, okay. You, I want to have coffee with. All I want to do is have coffee. No, I'll but pay, anyway, I'll pay so this guy who's a he's a violin maker in Japan, who a lovely man named Louis Caporelli. He's a violin maker, uh, an American who moved to Japan, and he probably missed America and American TV. So he bid on me, and we had lunch, and I had a lovely time. And then about a year and a half, two years later, he calls to say he's in LA. Uh, do I want to get together for for dinner or drink? And I said I can't because I'm doing a play, but come see the play. And he comes, and then I invite him for drinks afterwards, and we have a lovely time. To say thank you, he had, he was making a violin for the president of this very, very wonderful golf corporation in Japan called Hanma, H-O-N-M-A, uh-huh. and their, their, their uh, clubs are way too expensive for America, you know, to, to get them over here, and they're, they're, they're really beautiful. And he had the president make me a driver. Wow. And that's what I'm hitting. If you were to see this thing, it's so beautiful. It's gold. It's, it's really beautiful. And it's, it's like worth fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars Oh, my God. And that's, uh, so it really is nice. So that, that's, uh, that's what I just hit, and I hit well. You, you, really choo- you really choose your dinner partners well. Yes, I do. I was very, very lucky. All right, what is the question? What do you need to ask me? Because I'm going to be hitting what the is, ball What is really, the movie really that you would recommend for me to see on Netflix either this weekend or maybe coming up during uh, the school vacation? The movie that I tell everybody to rent because people have not seen it, but it is the best of its kind. It's hilarious. It's, it's fun. It's, I shouldn't say it's hilarious. It's interesting. It, it's a great movie. Witness for the Prosecution. I've never even heard of it. Witness for the Prosecution. It's uh, made in 1959. It's Charles Lawton, Elsa Lanchester, Marlena Dietrich, Tyrone Power, directed by Billy Wilder, based on an Agatha Christie. Witness for the Prosecution. uh, What's so great about it? Witness for the Prosecution. It's fantastic. Everything is great about it. Everything. 
I can't, I can't begin to tell you how great a movie it is. Wow. It's, it's just fun. It's a fun, fun, great. It's black and white, so you got to, you know, there are people who don't like black and white. Well, I'm not uh, one of those. Great. No, I, uh, well, that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, can you hold on one second? I'm going to hit my ball. Can you hold on just for <laughs> yes, one more second, course. please? Here we go. Okay, this bye-bye. is uh, Richard's second shot. Ooh, sounds like a seven iron. And Richard pulling the seven iron. He's got about 150 yards to the pin. Probably should be using a six iron here. Richard's not quite got the distance with that seven iron that one might want. And there you go. That's the first bad shot I hit. That's the first bad shot I hit, and what yet did, I got away with it. What were you? What were you? Uh, what were you hitting? I hit a four iron, but it did not go. Mm, yeah, I didn't hit it like I wanted. Six iron, right. like I suggested. Uh, I, ru- I should I be. Ca- it, yeah. I should be caddying for you. Well, uh, yes, you should, Richard. Uh, I can't thank you enough. In the movie this week, folks, okay. witness for the prosecution. Uh, witness for the prosecution, directed by Billy Wilder. Don't get any other version. There was one made with I think Elliot Gould and some. So, not good. See the original. Witness for the prosecution with Tyrone Power, Charles Lawton, Elsa Lanchester. Marlena Dietrich, it's the, I, I guarantee you the time of your life. I guarantee wow. you. I guarantee you. That is an absolute, it is an absolute four-star movie and nothing short. Well, if I uh, like nothing it, then uh, I will uh, take you out for a cup of coffee one of these days. Please, for God's sake. So I think I've got myself a cup of coffee. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Richard Kind, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Sam, I'll see you soon. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye.